Okay, in this video we're going to talk about your Note 20 Ultra. Uh, people have claimed that they have lag in uh, shutter speed. So what we're talking about is the camera on the uh, Note 20 Ultra. So people have claimed that there's a lag, okay, when you press the shutter button on your camera. Now there's a couple reasons why this would happen, and let's explain why. If you know your internals of your um, your device and you're really tech savvy and you know what's going on This is really simple to figure out So basically what you have is your phone's memory is like a Thousand lane highway that's going a thousand miles an hour in each lane Okay, your SD card is like a two-lane highway only doing 40 miles an hour Okay, so if you switch your camera setting over to internal storage, okay, and you take all your videos and your pictures to the internal storage, you're going to see that your your camera is going to operate a lot better and a lot faster. So what's the reason why? The reason why is because that the camera has to do a lot of things and storage is one of them, transcoding and stuff like that. So when your camera, you press that button, your camera has to do a lot of things and it has to send that photo in data, okay, to the, to the storage. If it's to the storage in your phone, it's a million miles an hour because the memory in the phone is massive and it's very fast, all right? Now, if it's going to take that and put it into the actual SD card, it's going to be a lot slower and that's why you get that lag because the phone... Is, is basically trying to shove all that data into a memory card that's extremely slow. So that's why you get like that, you know, second lag. If you take a video, an 8K video, it won't allow you to put it to the SD card, okay? It has to go to the internal memory for a reason, okay? You would be sitting there for three days for to try to load into an SD card. Um, if you're taking 4K video, um, 30 frames a second, you might be able to, if, you're, if your card is fast enough, the phone, you can switch it to SD card. It might go to the SD card. If you're doing 4K 60 frames a second, well then, it's not going to go to the SD card um, at all. It's going to go to your actual, it's going to force you to put it into the internal storage. So you got to think about, not only are you putting in video, you're also putting in audio and all kinds of other data in there. Have you ever noticed when you transfer a file, from a fast device to a slow device, it takes a long time. Or if you transfer um, from a phone to a computer and you're going through you know, your uh, USB cord, it's slower. And even though the phone is extremely fast and your computer is extremely fast, well then the actual the controller that puts those two cables together is actually slow. And that's why you get that uh, slow speed. So it, it happens with every device, so you can't, um, you can't uh, blame the actual device. So basically, don't matter how fast you're, you're, it's important to have the fastest memory card possible and the largest memory card possible. And that's why I tell everybody that when you buy the Ultra, the Note 20 Ultra, you must buy the 512 version. If you buy the 128 gigabyte version, you will be very unhappy. And there's a lot of people that are selling the 128 gig version and then they, they find out, there's a reason why, they find out that it's actually... Um, not sufficient and they end up buying the uh, 512 version and it's a total nightmare they lose their money um, and they're buying another phone and they should have just bought that phone to begin with go ahead and just trade in your phone at uh, Samsung you know dot com whatever get your $650 credit and um, and that's the end of the story um, it's that's that simple don't go through the carrier because the carrier you can go to Samsung okay Samsung is giving you the rebate on the phone. The carrier is not giving you um, anything near that. If you're lucky, you're going to get 300 bucks. At Samsung, you're going to get $650 um, for your previous device. Um, uh, and depends on how old it is, you might be getting 350 bucks because they still they'll take in a Note 8. Um, I believe they'll go down to a Note 5. So that's not a bad deal. You're going to buy the phone basically almost half off. And the best thing about buying the 512 is that it will be factory unlocked from Samsung. So you don't got to worry about some 
you know, some young kid unlocking your phone and worrying if it's going to have problems or brick it or whatever. So I got the 512 Ultra unlocked from Samsung and it is screaming fast. There's no shutter lag whatsoever. Even when I put it on the SD card, um, it still does what it's supposed to do. Um, if it's hard to notice the difference, let's put it that way. It's very hard to notice the difference um, in the shutter lag, if there is any at all. And especially, shutter lag really happens when you're doing ultra high resolution photos or ultra high resolution um, videos because of the, the fact that, like I said, the transfer of data to the internal memory, okay? And then, or compared to the actual transfer of data to the SD card. So that's the reason why, and that's the truth behind the shutter lag. I hope that helps you out. We'll make a few more videos to explain certain issues and certain things so you understand what's really going on. Have a good one.